the chart here we're going to take a look at this uh exciting update new details of donald trump's mystery crypto project all right we're going to dive into that here in a second I want to come over here first off and take a look over here let's take a look at the crypto bubbles first all right see what's going on with them today oh, there you go a little bit red all right uh, a couple coins popping off uh hmt um it's up 12 percent uh, an AKT is up 5.2. That's about it. Out of the top 100. Okay, that's for the day, uh, for the week. See how we're looking here. Still looking great for the week. Wow, that's some that's some pretty decent numbers, guys. That's like, you know, wait, wait till we start getting stuff. You know, uh, like in an alt season, and you start seeing up 20% uh, a day or, or so. You know, some of these it, it'll amaze you when when this when these things start popping off. Um, it's unbelievable yeah in a week 17% that'll happen in a day in an alt season I mean your render 37% looking great I cover render a lot fetch I've been covering been telling people that low was in the low was in there you go you know same with render over there um, what else is it gala I called a low on that about a week ago um, Matic I love Matic I had I hold a lot of that the last bull run um, beam you know I've, a lot of these guys I've been I've been calling for lows whenever we uh, whenever the uh, total market cap and the total two and the total three uh, did them ABC corrections um, you, to, you guys to watch the channel know you know we covered that what two or three weeks ago um, that, that the lows were more you know uh, on the total market cap we're in um, you know, not for all the coins at that time, but um, yeah, there, it looks like they're all bouncing off the bottom here. You know, you're gonna have corrections. You're gonna be up. You know, I mean, look what we were up for the week. All right, you cannot go straight up. Things that go straight up come straight back down. Okay, these are weekly gains here. All right, you're gonna have your pullbacks. That you have to, you staircase up a chart. Those of you that are new to charting. Yeah, you know, like walking upstairs. You know, step up. You have a, you know, a step down there. How you build stairs up. You know, you build your support uh, up. You know, break through resistance, build support, break through resistance, build support. You know, the whole way up like that. So, you're gonna have your pullbacks. The fear and greed index is looking great. Uh, 55, approaching. Uh, yeah, we're in greed now. You know, isn't that crazy? We went from uh, 28. Uh, four or five days ago, and now we're at a 55. Uh, you'll know when uh, when a top's in for sure. You know, extreme greed. Um, you know, people will, will refuse to think a top's in. They'll tell you you're crazy for selling uh, all kinds of stuff. But I'm gonna be right there with you guys. Believe me, watching these charts, and and uh, you know, we're gonna do our best to to uh, to start uh, you know nailing some tops hopefully when they come in you got bitcoin dominance making a push up here today it's up to 57.66 percent all right we're looking for that 60 percentile all right on a weekly here you can see the you can see the green candle here i mean it's, this week is almost the highest it's been yeah uh, yeah it poked its head up took out the prior high back here right back there yeah it's made it's the highest it has been since Wow, way over in this area in uh, March, uh, April of 2021. You know when it was dropping, it hit the hit this level we're at now. All right, so we are at. It hasn't been this high since uh, 2021. All right, we're looking for this run up to here, and then a big roll over. You know, up to the 618, and then a plunge, just like just like before. We've been talking about this for quite a while. Right over here, you had to come up towards the 618. Right, let's zoom in, let's go over here. Right here, apologize. Right here, it ended up coming over and hitting the 618 on the dot right here. But you almost had a double top here, like the situation here, then here, and then the big, huge 2021 run. I remember I was here for that. That was absolutely insane. You had a little uh, run right here to start it. You know, Bitcoin ran back up a little bit, and then the big plunge, man. That was awesome. I can't wait till the next one. If you've never been through an old season, it, buckle up, man, because it is absolutely fantastic, right? Um, well, let's take a look at Bitcoin real quick. Uh, ton coin, ton coin. I was actually 
um, we're working on a short on that thing when I started my videos I apologize um, that one's kind of sketchy though I see the owner uh, got arrested you know uh, pretty crazy stuff out there you got Bitcoin down a thousand eleven hundred bucks for the day uh, that's going on a four-hour chart here take a look here yeah just you know pull them back look gonna probably retest this high over here as it's as support now uh, nothing to be worried about at all you know like prob possibly a fourth wave pullback here uh, you know then a shot up that's what it looks like it looks like a four wave almost but you have your four hour almost reset here down at the bottom uh, you have your eight hour I wouldn't expect it to go any lower than I'm right back here 62 six you know that'd probably a retest it will test this now as support as it was resistance you know right over here right there it was resistance it busted through and now it's going to retest it as support and it should bounce off that right around 62 62 six and a half somewhere right around there okay you know, get on your chart and look at this prior high over here should hold now as support got the eight hour coming down uh, you got your 12 hour let's see here right at the very top rolling over okay you got that let's take a look at the uh, daily Dude, look at that daily wow getting stretched huh it definitely is getting stretched all right now as far let's take a look at something where has it come up as, on a retracement on this move over here where are we at Ooh, right up to a 702 isn't that interesting you know like I did like I show you in the uh, you know the, uh, the videos I don't like to call it a course it's not a course that that you buy um, when you get a level three membership it's it's training videos man it teaches you you know how to use the fab all that stuff so a uh, big shout out to the members guys thank you so much man I, I appreciate it so very much I know I've been slacking a little bit with uh, with getting content out uh, this flood um, getting everything situated and we are back to normal so I will be hopefully getting videos out uh, at least uh, if not every day every other day um, I'm doing my best here believe me I look to charts every single day and there's no question about that but I don't get videos out every day and I apologize so but that will be happening um, it's a level three membership if you're interested 20 videos 10 hours of videos and a link to the discord to come trade with us man it's only $15 so it's affordable to everybody you got the daily getting up there a 92 and a 95 it's actually bearish all right let's look at the three day and the five day the three day uh, is heading up the five day uh, is heading up okay you got your weekly uh, bullish and heading to the upside 26 and an 18 all right down on the bottom there still very oversold look at this look how low that thing still is and your monthly turning starting to turn to the upside here okay uh, and you can see look how much higher this high was isn't that crazy man when you see bearish divergence on the chart like look at this RSI now it just for instance you know just for you guys that are new or whatever watch you, you see how this set a high there then this had a higher high right okay now if you're looking at your RSI and you say you know this sun especially in a monthly like this Wow that's it's pretty uh, you have this high then you have a lower high come in on the RSI but you had a higher high in price man you better be looking to bail on that thing look at the roll over there you know Bitcoin went from uh, what 69,000 back to uh, 17 this is on a monthly chart okay um, pretty much new bear market was coming huh that was the top right or right here I apologize that was technically a top right there and then we ended up getting this push down and another push up here and set a new all-time high but if you look at all the indicators um, they all indicated that this was the top right over here okay but look at that bearish divergence unbelievable huh now you have a lower high coming in way over here um is that going to mean anything well i don't know it's pretty far apart right i mean you got a few years of distance in there but we'll just have to see how things play out here but the monthly no uh, it is starting to roll back towards the, the top here so definitely keep your eye on bitcoin that daily um it's the thing that's got me uh, wondering here you know should be just a retest on top of this breakout area 
Uh, but could it pull down? It could it pull down a little bit deeper? Yeah, it could. You know, you do have this very, very good support um, right to show you this because it could 61.8 look at these numerous wicks all right let's zoom in on this so because i don't want everybody panicking you know if it takes if it breaks the support up here yeah it could absolutely um in fact i'd probably be more leaning towards the thing uh pulling back to right here look at this numerous support levels right here numerous wicks uh you got one two three wicks uh, a couple closing candles, a couple closing candles over here. It's a very good area for it to uh, to pull back to. So yeah, it, it definitely could pull back to to 61.8. Um, but don't be shocked if it bounces off of uh, 62.6 here. Okay. But with that RSI looking the way it is, yeah, it, it could definitely pull back to there. That would uh, that would make a lot of sense, especially for for that if this is a wave four. All right, pull back and then a fifth wave up. So Bitcoin's looking fine. It just just in correction right now. All right, now we'll take a look at this before cast, but I'm curious. Uh, new details of Donald Trump's mystery crypto project. Let's take a look. I'm very, uh, can crypto sway the elections? Did you see that? Well, uh, crypto, um, it, it, as far as corporate funding, we covered that the other day in a video. Uh, they, by far, um, you know, have out donated any any other contributor out there. Uh, it's, it's crazy. A hundred and I think it was a hundred and twenty, hundred and twenty million dollars or something out of a hundred and fifty has come from crypto related people. All right. Except exciting updates, new details of Donald Trump's mystery crypto project spark wild Bitcoin rival speculation. Huh. Former U.S. President Donald Trump is gearing up for a bruising race for the White House and has already caused massive shockwaves uh, with radical plan to wipe out the spiraling $35 trillion U.S. debt pile. $35 trillion. Not million, not billion, trillion. Wow. Trump, who uh, has surprised many by his controversy controversy of Bitcoin this year, has said he opposes the U.S. war on crypto, branded Operation Choke Point 2.0. Um, yeah, he said he would fire Gary Gensler his first day in office. Now, as fears swirl of a complete U.S. dollar collapse, Trump has said it's time to take a stand against Wall Street, backing his son's plans for a financial revolution. Um, let's see. What do we got down here? What's it say? There better be more than that, right? Yeah, okay. For too long, the average American has been squeezed by the big bank and financial elites. It's time we take a stand together, Trump posted to his uh, Truth Social account alongside a link to a Telegram messaging app, a uh, group run by his sons, Eric and Don Jr., called the Defiant Ones, a reference to the crypto-based concept of uh, DeFi. Um, on August 26th, the update, uh, the telegram, let's see here, there we go, is this the new Trump token, all right, up here on the 26th, the telegram group run by Donald Trump's son, Eric and Don Jr., has been renamed to World Liberty Financial, alongside a link to an X account with the handle World Liberty Fi, uh, the account is named WLFI. Uh, sparking wild speculation on social media that could be also be the name of a future Donald Trump crypto. WLFI. Wow, keep your eye out for that. You know, I use a lot of these. Uh, I apologize, that keeps coming up. I'll show you in a second. Um, speaking of, of tokens like that, because I keep my eye open for sure uh, out there. I take a look at the. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. Please be aware of scams and fake tokens claiming to be associated with the defiant ones. Uh, World Liberty or similar names. The Telegram account run by Don Jr. and Eric Trump posted. Uh, do not engage with these tokens for your safety. Remember that all official info will only be posted right here in this channel by our trusted team. If it's not from us, it's not real. To stay updated and safe, make sure to follow our official Twitter account. The official World Liberty Financial Telegram channel also teased further updates to come. We are gearing up for a major announcement and exciting updates, the message read. Join us as we transform DeFi forever. You won't want to miss what's coming next. 
well, I'm sure, you know, you got to admit, anything uh, related here uh, with Trump and a crypto, um, is, I'm sure is going uh, to blow the market up, right? Um, yeah, uh, right here. Um, it says DeFi as well as the broader Web.3 are based on the idea, idea digital internet based services are too centralized around a handful of powerful companies on Wall Street and in Silicon Valley and could be improved by moving them to protocol based crypto powered alternatives. Following Trump's post, a message appeared on the 43,000 member Telegram group rallying against how crooked banks and financial institutions rig the system against everyday Americans. True. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I believe that. They shut people out, deny them loans, drown them in paperwork, and kill them with legal and processing fees. You know, that's what I love about, one of the things I love about crypto. You can come over here and use leverage and trade cryptocurrencies every day, and you don't have to have $25,000 in your bank account, you know. Um, it, you know I, it, I don't know. Hopefully that never changes, right? Uh, they shut people out, deny them loans, drown them in paperwork, and definitely and kill them with legal processing fees. The message recalls comments made by Eric Trump to the New York Post earlier this month in which he claimed over half this country right now cannot be banked. Uh, banking and finance have become uh, politicized in recent years, most notably by the Canada trucking protests against COVID vaccine mandates that resulted in Prime Minister Justin Trudeau freezing the bank accounts of protesters. Wow, I didn't know that, and I don't remember that. Elsewhere, UK political uh, Nigel Farage claimed his bank account was closed partly due to his politics were deemed at odds with the bank. Well, you can bet, you know, like XRP, I love XRP. You know, I'm sure the banks absolutely hate it. You know what I'm saying? Um, XRP, uh, as far as using Bitcoin as a payment system, I'm not down with that. I mean... Uh, it's number one, it's super slow. Um, number two, it's, it's, it's extremely expensive to send Bitcoin, especially if you're sending a lot of it, you know. Um, and it's slow. It takes half hour, 45 minutes to, to show up. And it's not meant for for payments, Bitcoin. It's meant as a store of value and to hold on to it. So definitely keep an eye out for this, this, uh, this project here. I might even... Uh, uh, go over there and sign up to their uh, their telegram group so I'm not left uh, hanging out because I'm sure that's going to be a big hit, right? I mean, when this thing launches, the, uh, I'm sure we're getting it on the ground, you know, or like with any meme coin or, or whatever you're getting, um, getting it on the ground is definitely... Alright, so I will keep my eye open for that. I want to show you guys a couple things here that I take a look at every single day um, and I'm sure they will be uh, you know when they're out they will be on here but number one is uh, I take a look at deck screener uh, let me click on it here and show you I apologize a couple things getting a little slow but deck screener here shows uh, new projects you know on uh, Solana on Ethereum you can go over here and look at uh, their market cap like these are the list of the biggest down like uh whiff dog whiff hat uh 1.78 billion dollar market cap all right uh, liquidity 1.8 million that seems kind of low right 1.8 million in liquidity uh, for a 1.8 billion dollar market cap but yeah look at you can go through waffles is up uh 323 percent it's another three x in the last uh 24 hours a three x um some of these are ridiculous. A 1,000, uh, a 10x in the last 24 hours, dogs. So go check it out, Deck Screener. You know, if you're into that stuff. And there's another one here that I look at a lot uh, right here. Uh, Gecko Terminal, okay, dot com. Yeah, so today's categories, you can go through all this stuff. You know, there's Wall Street Bets, rising categories. Uh, today's gaming, uh, all crypto categories. You know, you can go through by liquidity, 24-hour uh, volume, everything. You know, so I'm sure it'll be on this. Has all the different chains you can click on and check. Like, I'm just looking for BNB chain uh, tokens. 
I click on BNB chain and there you go. Uh, new polls, you know, liquidity polls. Sometimes them can be pretty lucrative for sure. You know, if you're getting in the right thing, if you're watching Twitter and, and uh, you know, the more followers uh, something is getting, you know, um, the bigger the opportunity, you know. Of course, we, and none of this is financial advice, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. Crypto, we all know, you know, it's at your own risk type stuff. So if you guys are into meme coins and stuff like that, go check out them two places, Gecko Terminal and, and Dex Screener. Uh, you won't be, you'll be on there for hours, I guarantee it. And you know, look, it tells you how old the, the project is three months, nine months, three hours. Like a whiff, a dog whiff hat is three months old. Uh, you can click on it, and it's, it's pretty impressive because let me just show you real quick. Down here, people that sell and buy, you can tell, like right here, buys uh, 12,941, sells 12,773. So, you know, what do you have, a 300 uh, difference there, more buyers than sellers. Uh, it, it's pretty cool. This is, uh, what is this one here, the last um, 24 hours, maybe 980 buys, 1,200 sells. But you can, right here, just go over here, 875,000 in profit. Wow, 1.2 million profit and loss. Check, I mean, these are people that bought, hold on. Let me get back here. All right, these are people like this person here, right? Just hover over it. Um, this profit and loss, 159,000. Uh, these are, I think these might be whales. This person bought 37 million. Uh, wow, sold 39 million dollars. 37, uh, profit and loss, 1.1 million. 1.1 million, the, or this same person, 1.1 million. WMG. So you know this person, uh, Holt must be uh, one of the original, look at this, WMG, all 1.1 million. You can really dig in here. All right, and then you got this one, same amount, 1.1 million. The same uh, person, you think, or uh, corp or, or uh, people, you know what I'm saying? 1.2 million, 159,000. You can really get in here and start digging, but buy. This person bought, this is a big one here, 278,000. Just bought one minute ago. Uh, all right, so uh, the, a lot of times you can, if you're following the the crowd, you know, only the uh, green are the buyers, but a lot of sellers coming in here, big ones, 589 bucks. All right, boom. This one here had 73,000 in profit. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. You'll get stuck on there. I'm telling you, watch and see. Hey, because if I click on this, this will go to a wallet. And you can, man, yeah, you can be on here a long time. Anyway, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean to get stuck up there. Uh, Caspa, let's check this out because we've got a few things going on here, right? I am watching this, hoping that we have a hold right here where we're at and this doesn't break, okay? Hoping this is a retest of this area that we just broke through, okay? This was resistance. Came up, broke out, came back. Hopefully just a retest and then a bounce. All right, up out of here. Looks like a possible A, B, C, you know, um, coming in here. Now it is testing that support. I put this out in Discord a while ago. Um, definitely, you know, if it breaks, we had to get a bounce off of it there, but um, I want to see it hold this white line. All right, it's more like down here, I guess. Um, what is that at? 16. 16.69, you know, right in that area. Now, all this through here is, is pretty decent support, but definitely don't want to see it lose uh, 16.6, 16.6, 7, somewhere right around there, okay? We want to see it bounce off of here. Now, let's take a look at some RSIs and see if we get that. Because what I'm hopefully looking at here, all right, would be a 1, 2, 5 wave here, right? 3, 4, and a 5th wave up, but we got to keep an eye on this here. It doesn't mean that this is that would break down if it breaks this resistance here, but um, I would just like to see it hold that, okay, after the breakthrough. All right, look for the 8 hour. Uh, the 8 hours at a 56 and a 64, technically bearish. Uh, the 4 hour, 4 hour is a reset, 2.6 and a 4, right at the bottom, right? You got your 12 hour, 
Uh, 69 to 79 bearish coming back to the moving average down here in the bottom. The daily uh, 81 and an 83. It's bearish. Okay. Let's look at the three day and the five day. Three day bullish. Five day. Let's look at the five day. We had the big thing happen. Five days bullish. And look at this weekly, guys. Look at this. 16 and an 18 and that weekly is almost reset again, right? I mean we went over this. This is when Casper has its big moves, right? When the weekly gets reset All right, uh, every single time it has had a massive move So this has been to, to the area we're at All right, you know, this massive push here from what uh, 10 cents up to 19 cents, you know a hundred percent over here. We went from uh, nine cents to uh, 19 cents, all right? Uh, back here was a two and a half X in this push. Even this little move here, believe it or not, you know, went from uh, three cents to uh, five and a half cents, okay? And you had this one here. Don't look like much, but when you're talking a uh, penny and a half up to uh, five cents, that's, that's a big move, right? And then we get back to the beginning. Uh, back here but every single time we've hit down in these lows there has been a mad big run up right big run up as soon as it's split bullish and uh it's it's flipping 16 and 18 still might take a couple days to get there but this thing is uh is getting ready to flip bullish on weekly all right so that's fantastic news for cas but now if we zoom in here on this chart you know we got uh Bitcoin possibly having a t little bit more of a pullback, right? All right, no big panic mode if we break 16.7 here. I would just like to see it have hold that just for the simple fact. All right, definitely don't want to see it uh, if it loses that area. Let's go out here a little bit deeper and look at the big support areas here. Boy, that's a good support though. Man, man, if you put this the whole way through here, right? Look at this. Okay, right where we're at right now. Okay, look at all these closing candles. This is on a daily. You know, close, 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 close. Come over here. Close, 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 close. Tons of support through here, you know. Let's look at a weekly. That's even more. You have a weekly close here and here. It's a very, very, very good area here. Where's this close at? Over here at 16, 6 to... 16.7 right in there okay that's a weekly close i'd like I'd like to definitely see it get a bounce off here i don't want to see it lose this area you know if it does it does we'll regroup and see but let's go on a four and see if we can spot an abc or anything in here okay we got the push down and a bounce up that's not a 618 though all right let's do something without the wick on that Still only a 50% without the wick. If we pull this up, what do we have? We have a 382. All right. Don't really like seeing 382 uh, push-ups here. That reminds me of five waves down. All right. Um, I, I, I don't like seeing that. Could we? Could the, could the thing collapse and pull back down to the, you know, to trend down here? It could. I mean, there's no question. It could. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. If it, if first off. We'll deal with this, all right? I want to see it hold 16.7 right around there, right on this support line. Go out on your daily, and you'll see closes, all right, right to your left of where we are now, all right, right here. This was former resistance, now hopefully flipped into support, all right? We'll just keep an eye on that, and... Uh, Get a video out and see how we're making out. Have a great day, everybody. Please hit that like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.